We know you dogs aren't going to do anything, right? Oh, what do you want, little guy? I got to go to work. She don't care. What is happening, fellow pioneers of human transportation? I'm Yogi Steve. This is ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. I make videos about high-powered scooters and delivering food on them. So it's the beginning of our nice big three-day run where we're going to work lunch and dinner friday saturday sunday and we're just going to try to make as much as we can you know i, I like to maybe set a goal a, a number but it's just better to chase the best jobs one at a time and end up with a big number at the end of the day play a song for the money ramp excuse me buddy sorry Excuse me. Hi. Can I get through? Uh, can, you, can you go around that way? Sure. Guys, I'm showing you how to be street smart. This is like a fucking crazy deranged person who looks super drunk. And instead of fighting with him, I said, sure, I'll just go around you. Now I just got to avoid him somehow. Here's the boss, anyhow. What's up, boss? Hey, what's up with you, man? Not much, not much. Just ready to go. Your order number one for today. Yeah, I know. I appreciate it. I feel so, I'm always in and out of here so fast. I know. You're, I mean, you're zapped. Oh, you're you're yeah. flies on that thing. I know, dude. He's up and down. You're, you're famous, All right, bro. all right. Let's go. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You guys getting that? You're hearing these guys blowing me up? Hi, you got Genesis for Uber? Thank you. Look, I can't do it without you. All you got to do is have the coffee ready on time like that, oh, and then man. we make a lot of money. That's money, homie. Yeah. This is my first order of the day. I'm just waking up. So this is like for sure real world, like what can happen with the scooter on any given day. It can just turn off. I was doing nothing. I'm not going fast. This is my E-Move Cruiser clone, and the scooter just fucking, it's just turning off. So let's just fucking see what happens now. If it, I tightened up the brakes, I mean the whole fucking caliper was practically falling off. So that could easily have triggered. For mile, turn left onto North Las Palmas Avenue. That could easily have triggered this mechanism that stops you from hitting the accelerator and the brakes at the same time. So hopefully, it feels like it's working. I think I fixed it. Yeah, into a parking garage. I think I got it. Hi, are you Genesis? All right, I'm happy I found you so easy. The tricky, tricky spot, but. To get good directions. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy. Stay okay. Okay. Order number one down. In from the house. Oh, 1555. Good numbers. Lucky number, I think. 15 minutes, 55 seconds. One and a half miles. Eight bucks. First order down. Oh, man, my heart fucking sunk when this scooter turned off. I'm 99.9% .9 positive it was just that the brake caliper was practically falling off, signaling the uh, throttle not to signal the motor when triggered because I really can't lose. If I lose this scooter, I'm dead because I'm still waiting. I'm getting the controller hopefully today for my Tooltron 2 Limited and I plan on fixing that this weekend or early next week. Here comes an order in for nine bucks. How far? Two and a half miles. Chick-fil-A. No, man, how you doing? Yeah. Because when I'm on, I'm doing Uber and DoorDash now, I'm a little more spread out. Have you been busy? Yeah, Uber's been okay, but... You're on Uber today, right? I gotta go to Starbucks. But, um, hey man, it was good to see you. I'll say it. Very bad news, the scooter shut down. It might not have been the brake calipers. It just might be there's something wrong with this scooter. I mean, at least I'm close to home. Oh, this is nothing I could diagnose right now. And basically what happens is I can turn it off, turn it back on, and then it will probably work again. And now it works, but it just turned off on its own again. So I know there's something, it's not just the fucking brake caliper. Oh my God. I don't think I'm gonna do well, this job. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do this job. I might just ride the scooter around a little bit. So canceling this job and fuck, we'll see. I'm back on the road. I think I fixed it. Basically what it is is still related to the motor and brake connection. I don't know if this is the answer, but this screw right here was completely off. And you can see this wire, I assume is what talks to the controller, which talks to the motor, you know, so that way you cannot hit your brakes and your motor at the same time. 
So it's been working. We're back on the road. We'll see what happens. All right, I'm just bullshitting with my friend Alan. He is good luck. He got me this $13.50 order. All right, guys, we're heading west. Wave, wave goodbye to all your fans. Whoa, <laughs> scooter you. died again. I thought I had the problem solved, but obviously it's just it's just an electrical problem or something. So I'm gonna have to fucking cancel this order that I was just excited about taking and go home. <laughs> is I'm gonna go home. I'm home already. I'm in the elevator, obviously. I'm gonna get on the Ultra. I'm gonna work for like a half of a shift, get home by like three o'clock, charge the scooter for like two and a half, three hours, then go out for a full dinner shift. And then I gotta start seriously thinking about making repairs on this scooter. The great thing about having fucking two scooters ready to go is it's very easy to switch. Back in the day, before I had the, the second box especially, moving the box from scooter to scooter is a huge pain. But I just got to move the small bag of stuff in my quad lock and we're good to go. We're just chilling near Hoy's Walk on Sunset. So it's going to be a short lunch. Actually, time-wise, it might be a long lunch shift. I'm going to do it by distance. I'm going to try to put like 12 to 15 miles on the scooter, probably get five to seven good jobs, then come off it, charge it, and come back out for dinner. One and a half dollar, a 1.1 mile run. That's exactly what we're looking for. Chipotle, let's go. If you're not ready, buddy, I gotta get in there. Thank you. I knew I knew that guy was gonna do that too. I was gonna start giving them the countdown. That guy stood there in front of the rack and looked away from it. The thing is, what I've been thinking a lot about is, it's not that people are dumb, smart, quick, or slow. It's that not everybody knows how to operate with a sense of urgency. And when you're in this type of a business, obviously that guy was a driver. You should operate under a sense of urgency. in the woods this is a nice neighborhood guy check out the beautiful house oh. obviously this is a leave at a door these people do not need to see me thing where a jersey mics instead of tying up I hide it behind this wall like nobody can fucking see it, but I saw a couple cyclist drivers do that. I mean, we're not going far. Casey. Thanks, man. This order breaks my short order law for the day it's 2.9 miles but it is 12 and a half dollars and it was extremely slow i waited like at least 12 maybe 15 minutes for this order we gotta go so let's make 12 and a half this is 407 okay casey thank you back from the dentist okay i'll give it to you that that's okay thank you thank you sir Oh man, I already don't like the way this place looks. It's super fucking busy. Oh no, it's not ready. Goodbye. Huh. Oh. All right, guys, I'm walking out on this order. Fucking guy took my name, walked in, and brought out orders for two other people. Hi, guys. Got Trent for Uber. Uber, East for Trent. Fantastic, thank you. You too. I got nervous. I thought that was the cop that pulled me over on Fountain a few months ago. So much for short trips, $14, 2.9 miles. And maybe another order on top of it too. I'm gonna take it. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do these two orders for like 20 bucks or something like that. And then I'm gonna bring the scooter home. It's like 150 right now. Hopefully I can get home by 2.30. 
And then I'll charge the scooter for just a couple of hours, have a full charge, and work a slow, long evening shift. Nobody here, should have a nice, easy, casual pickup. Let's see, Bianca and Sheena. Bianca and Sheena, sounds like they were best friends in high school. Hi guys. Okay, I have two for Uber. Bianca and Sheena. Okay, Bianca has got the two miso soups, the chicken teriyaki, is that Bianca? Okay, and the other one for Sheena is two geisha rolls, two salmon, two Alaskan, and a yellowtail, is that correct? Looks good to me. Thank you. I said looks good to me, I couldn't see, I can't see shit. All right, we got it, easy order. Your destination is on the right. And if he is bananas, as you say, I'm not taking any justice. Do just what the fuck is happening. I feel like a rap god. Rap god. Oh, my people. I always like to ask sometimes. No, I know. Customers right next to me. Same thing. Like, you're not a putting 107, are you? Yeah, yeah. Right, you're smart. You're working, huh? Oh, you're doing census, I see, of yeah. course. Right on. Somebody's got to. Yeah. Hey, it's your food. I'm at your door. Thank you. I'm so fast, these customers are like, what the hell, you're here already? It gives me a lot of joy. Yeah. All right, you don't look like Sheena, but you're gonna get it. Thank you. All right, Sheena. From um, 214, Bianca. Bianca, 214, no problem. Take this elevator right here. Thank you. Beautiful, thank you. Wow, look at this crazy elevator. We're having a tough day, guys. What the fuck? 214. What the fuck? Why is there no 214? Oh, okay. Oh my god. Alright, so we're shutting it down. We're gonna go home. We're gonna charge up for a couple hours and come Walked back. Walked the long elevator. Came out the wrong way, but... Scooter's here, the shift is over. I still think we made at least 50 bucks, so that's something. Let's go home. I don't do black music, I don't do white music. I mean, wanted to do for lunch. Got 15 miles in, it's 2.30 as I'm pulling into the house. You gotta let these scooters cool down for a couple minutes. Then I'm gonna plug it in for probably two, two and a half hours and come back out. Okay friends, we're back on the road for dinner shift Friday night with pretty much a full battery. You are at about 95% full. There's a 450 bonus on for DoorDash tonight. We got both apps opened up. It's only about 4 p.m., a little past. Let's see what happens. Okay, our first order is a nice one. Crazy Rockin' Sushi, 1150, 2.3 miles. Let's do it. Looking good, nobody hanging out out front. Oh, there is somebody on the inside. Seven though. minutes early on this pickup, so I already turned on the Uber app just in case I can get an in-between order while we're waiting. Hi, I have a Mary Grace for DoorDash. Chicken. Beautiful, thank you. All right, go get it, bud. All right, number two, I guess this is just a conventional drop off. No leave with the door note or nothing like that. I mean, this is like only small amount of orders are like the old school style, but I don't mind. Number two. Thank you very much. All right, first order took a while, 25 minutes from the house to the restaurant to the delivery. We waited a little bit before we got it. We did good. Bonus orders are coming in. 1.6 miles, $13.50 for John and Vinny's. Hopefully we will not get stuck waiting there. This place can be rough on the weekend. You're, I was already pinged for this anyhow, John C. I was already pinged. Um, see you next time. Yeah. Like an easy drop off. Two. 
Hey, it's your DoorDash. I knocked. I just want to let you know that I'm here with your food. Yeah, I'll leave it right in front of your door. You got it. Orders down. We've made exactly 25 bucks, and we've been out here for 40 minutes. That's what we like to see. Let's see what Lala's has got for us. 8.75 for 6.8 miles. No thanks. Perfect. I got one of these stupid intercom buttons. Hey, what's up? Oh, it says it's gonna meet me out front. The nice. Big gate. Are you? Are you Ryan? Ryan. Okay, I was expecting to come out that big door. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. I right, nine dollar fifty cent McDonald's run. Let's do it. <laughs> How you doing? I got 228. Thank you. Six bucks in an hour and six minutes. Nice. All right, let's go see Jenny at Hollywood Sushi for a $13 order. Six items, nothing too big, I hope not. Small. All right, let's see what's going on here. David S. Hi, Jenny. David. David S. for DoorDash. How are you enjoying life? Sorry? How's life? Life is going. I hear ya. It's so gloomy. I know, I know, I know. Thanks, Jenny. guys, I have Dale. Dale for Uber Eats. Dale with a D. Thank you very much. I'll see you all next time. All right, 3.57, right to the door. Look good to me. Hi, guys. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Okay, that was an easy one. Now we have a $10.50 1.1 mile Jersey Mike's from DoorDash. The bonuses are coming through. Grab the snack. I hardly ever eat stuff like this. I got some Doritos and some fancy black cherry. I'm a little bit tired. Crazy Rock and Sushi from DoorDash. Is it any good? 1573 for seven miles. No, thank you. All right, we're taking a chance with this Buffalo Wild Wings order for like 11 and a half bucks for 1.4 miles. Let's head north, going to Hollywood Boulevard. Hi. I have Brandon C for Uber Eats. Wow, the easiest Buffalo Wild Wings order ever. Yeah, Gotta admit, this place is a struggle sometimes, oh, yeah, but thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Wow, she was cool. She knows what I'm talking about. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Oh my God. 
this customer's bag ripped. See, they fucking slammed, they squished the soda in there. So I am just gonna double bag it. Put in a secondary bag, try to make it look nice and clean here. And I'm not gonna give them a Chipotle bag. Oh shit, all I have is like branded bags. Fuck. Hi there. Hi, this is Uber, period. Your bag ripped in transit, but I carry spare. Hey, your bag ripped in transit, so I replaced it with a fresh Chipotle. I just wanted to let you know, okay? I didn't order Chipotle. No, I, I, I carry extra bags for bags that rip, so just to let you know. My pleasure. Here's a classic bonus night order. 1.7 miles for 18 bucks from Chipotle, nice. I got number nine, right? Yep. Thank you. Hi, it's your DoorDash. Your food is here. Thank you. Hey, Josh. I would get this kind of a little bit from the bottom. It's kind of bottom heavy and warm as hell. Thank Thanks, you. Man. Enjoy. About 115 bucks. We've been out here for two hours and 40 minutes. We're having a very good dinner shift. We're at about 160 or 170 for the day. Got a decent amount of battery left. It's pretty early. It's only 10 to seven, but you can see the days are getting shorter. It's starting to get dark. Let's keep moving for a $19 double from Uber. We're going to Lala's and Tatsu Ramen. I don't know about, I don't really like going to Tatsu Ramen, but we'll see what happens. Hi guys. Uh, yeah, I got Becky for Uber, Becky. Becky P? With a B, uh, yeah. Becky P, exactly, yeah, thank you. Melissa F. Technically doing a triple now. I have this double order from Uber, the La La's and the Tatsu Ramen. Then I also got a short range $10.50 Mendocino Farms order. And I'm actually not sure what order I'm gonna do these in. I'm gonna first drop off the closest Uber Eats and then figure it out from there. Sure guys. Thank you so much. Sure. Are there stairs here? I'm only going to the second floor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Because I picked a bad time to do a triple.
How you doing? You said something in your directions about Highland, so I got confused. Yeah, it's the alley. No, that's okay. We got you. Thank you very much. Appreciate right. the good directions. We'll see you next okay. time. I turned the apps off. We did good. We had about $150 dinner shift. We worked for a little over three hours. Let's look at the numbers really quick, actually. I know some of you guys like to see the Strava. I like to look at it. We worked for three hours and 26 minutes. We made like 155 bucks. We did about 210 bucks. I'm estimating for the day. You know, I'll put the numbers at the end. Guys, I'm Yogi Steve. This is ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. Videos about high-powered scooters. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment down below. And I will see you all soon. Thank you for your support.